Hey, this is Anya, and I'm gonna be showing you how I cosplayed as Zika and Bana from On Myoji. The whole process took about two to three months, so keep watching. I originally bought the costume off of Taobao, but the problem was the costume came pretty different from the photos on the website, so I needed to modify it a lot. The skirt, it came as a weird rectangular piece of shape and it just has a safety pin here. That's how it came, it was just like this. It's like wearing a towel over my legs, it was pretty bad. I modified the skirt by cutting it in three sections along here in a straight line. And then I sewed this part to the edge of this skirt and then this part to the edge of here. Then I sewed a ribbon at the ends to tie it around my waist and it looks like a proper skirt. Also, the skirt came with three golden glasses but it was meant to come before. And instead I replaced all of the glasses with uh, four new ones. The top was meant to have this gorgeous golden shiny fabric but it came like this. It was a weird plain brown mustard fabric. So I just covered it and it's now super shiny. To attach the purple top to the red top, I sewed buttons and buttonholes around the edge and it's better than using safety pins. The sleeves were originally down to my knees so I trimmed it a little bit shorter and finished off the ends with a uh, bias tape and it looks a lot cleaner this way. I wore the costume a couple times to give it a test run so I tried washing it and oh lord the rust stains they didn't use proper garments I did everything to get rid of the rust stains, vinegar, salt, lemon, everything and it just kept getting worse. Then my very very smart boyfriend said, why don't you replace the grommets? Oh yeah. Why didn't I think of that? Then I went in and craft, bought some new grommets, removed the chili ones, cleaned the stains. This is after I use salt, lemon juice, and a bit of dishwasher soap. And I did this four times. And now the rust stain is all gone. I wanted the pattern on my costume to stand out, so with the help of Valerius, I learned how to apply gold leaf to my costume. I did about four layers of gold leafing glue, making sure that each layer is thoroughly dry. Then I put the gold leaf on top and it's pretty shiny in photos. I wanted to make her hair accessories again, so I bought some crepe paper from my seller and Etsy, but for some reason their store closed down. The crepe paper I got is made from Italy, it's called Cato Teclic Rossi. It's kind of similar to fabric, it's super durable and stretchy. I found a flower that looks the closest to hers, which is called the Jobo flower. Then I searched it on YouTube and I'll link it down below. The mask in the stock photo looked different to what I got and did I give up on making this costume? I don't know. I started off with making proper white gorges out of EVO foam, then gave the guy a little haircut, trimmed the ends. I gave them purple horns out of EVO foam, then I added hot glue inside the horns to make them stiff, then painted the details onto his face with acrylic paint. At the back I added some wire, this is so that I could tuck it onto the front of my belt. To make the bird, I did it. I bought it off eBay and added some stuff onto it. I used floral wire and twisted it around multiple times. I made the lanterns out of pieces of plastic from uh, packaging around the house, specifically for my false eyelashes, and then I glued tissue paper on top. To make it light up, I just added some LED tea lights from Kmart. To make of amulets, I first drew the pattern on Krita. It's a free program, uh, but I paid for it on Steam just because uh, it's free. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
and I printed it out. Um, I glued the paper onto EBF foam and attached a clear piece of string along the middle. So on to the important part, her back flower thing. I kind of scribbled some measurements onto to make the flower piece and this is the more uh, finished measurements. So I made the pattern out of newspaper first because I didn't want to waste the foam just to see how it looks. And there's going to be 12 more of these. I just ran out of newspaper. I cut the middle part out of acrylic. I think that's what it's called, acrylic. So that's going to be the base. And that's how the flower kind of looks. I was talking with my friend Sanzuri to decide on what material to use for the flower piece and I went with Isolan. I bought 6 meters of Isolan, the same material used for those large flowers at weddings. But if I were to make it again, I would have used regular 2mm EVFM, just cause it's better for this kind of project. Each of the petals have a piece of wire inside. I taped the ends off with duct tape to prevent the wires damaging the foam. I used several layers of PVA glue to prime the foam before painting. If I were to do it again, I would have used Flex Bond. I did try plastic dip, but I finished a can on four petals. For the base, I drilled three holes into the base for the belts and 12 holes around the edge for the stamens. I covered up the wire with a strip of Etion and just glued it onto the wire. Got some bells from Spotlights. I bought two packets to get 12 bells. So now every time I move, they make sounds. I slowly started to build up layers onto my flower and it's starting to come together. Finished the second layer of the petals. Two more layers to go. So that's all my layers of petals finished. Uh, on to the flower bud. For the flower bud, I used Evil Ted Smith's uh, dome pattern. And I just trimmed the edges so that it looks a little bit more flat. I wanted to make the flower look really realistic. So I cut up the little foam balls from the beanbag refills from Kmart and glued them onto the dome. I primed it with layers of PVA glue and then I used a mix of acrylic and gold paint and painted the edges slightly darker. I did a couple test runs to make sure everything stays in place and that nothing falls apart. Because the flower part is just made out of foam and wire, I can fit it inside my very very large suitcase. I hope you enjoyed my video on how I cosplay Hirikan Bana from Onmyoji. These photos were taken by my boyfriend, you can, you can check out his Instagram at Numna Lightworks. Comment down if you play Onmyoji. Um, this is my priority, so let me know if you're on. I'll see you guys later, bye bye.